Welcome to my favorite place, it's Happy Harbor. We'll have so much fun playing with our friends. There's Arlo the bear and Tilly the penguin and an octopus named Kelpie. to see you today. Did you know that God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend? I love that God loves me. It makes me feel so special. God doesn't just love me and you, though. He loves everyone in the whole world. There's an octopus in Happy Harbor that I think God loves. Let's look through our spyglass and see if we can find him. There he is. Hi, Kelby! Hi, Arlo! And hi, friend! Kelby, I was hoping to learn about someone new today. That sounds fun! Can you open your treasure chest and see who it could be? I can do that, Arlo. I'll just open up my treasure chest and... Uh-oh! Bubbles! <laughs> can you help me pop them? All right. Here we go, let's pop some bubbles, yeah, yeah, 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 pop, 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 and bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, pop, 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 and yeah, pop, 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 and yeah. Helping me. We popped so many bubbles. Now let me see who is in here. Who is this? That's David. God loved David. Thanks, Kelby. You're welcome, Arlo. I am really excited to learn about David today. He was a brave, strong king. But my favorite story about David is one when he was a kid like you and me. I saw the story in this book. This is God's special book for us. It's called the Bible. That choo-choo means that the Bible train is pulling into town, which is so great because I want to see a Bible story right now. Take a look through my spyglass and see if you can find Tilly on the train. Hi, Tilly. Hello, Arlo. And hello, friend. Do you have a special story from the Bible you could show us today? Let's find out together. Come on, friend. All aboard the Bible train. Choo-choo. <laughs> Oh, oh. Climb up 
Are you excited? I know I am. Let's open up Cut's special book together and watch a Bible story. Stories of the Bible Junior David Let's meet David, who loved God and God loved him. Her. David was a shepherd and he lived in Bethlehem. One day David went to battle to bring his brothers some food. When he got there, he saw a giant who was being very rude. The giant was Goliath, who was over nine feet tall. Hey. But that didn't scare David. No, not at all. David asked who this giant thought he was and said that he would take him out. But King Saul just saw a boy who didn't know what he was talking about. Wait. David said that he had killed lions and bears with his rod. Besides, this giant was no match for God. David grabbed five smooth stones from the stream. Goliath laughed. David's outmatched, or so it would seem. David put the stone in his sling and sent it Goliath bound. It hit Goliath in the head and the giant fell down. On that day, David defeated a giant with a stone and a sling. And because he loved God, he one day became king. David served God and did his part. He was a man after God's own heart. Story. I wonder what other stories I could hear from the Bible. Did you know that we can always find more stories in God's special book? All we have to do is open up the Bible and take a look. Well, I have to take this train to the next stop. See you around, friend. And bye, Arlo. Bye, Tilly. Choo-choo. <laughs> that story about David is one of my favorites. David loved God with his whole heart, and God loved David. God loves you, too. David was a kid, like you and me, and he was not afraid of the big, mean, strong giant, because he knew that God was bigger and stronger. Let's sing a song right now about how big and strong God is.
to sing together. Can you show me how big you are? Reach up your arms to the sky. Wow! You are so big! God is so big and so strong. And he loves everyone. That means he loves you and me and everyone we see. So remember that when we feel afraid, we can know that our big, strong God loves us and will always be with us, even when we can't see him. God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. Thanks for coming to Happy Harbor today. I had so much fun with you. We'll see you around. Parents, it's time to celebrate. The new On Purpose Parents Podcast, a Saddleback Parents Podcast has arrived, and we're here to help you win at parenting. As parents ourselves, we know that parenting is the toughest, most important job on the planet. You can't possibly do it alone. And now you don't have to, because we're your people. Connect with us by texting the word parents to the number 83000, visiting us at onpurposeparents.com, and tuning in every Wednesday with Kurt, Grace, and Chris for tips, ideas, and encouragement to help you win at being an on-purpose parent.